Good evening, everyone. It's serotonin. Okay, it's actually the morning again. It's like two in the morning. So I wanted to do a really quick one. Um, it's been a really busy week so far, and it's only going to get busier as far as I can tell. Um, so some of the things that I'm reading. So first of all, I apologize again. Still haven't quite figured out my computer, but I'm going to keep this quick. Because really the whole point, of course, of me making videos at all is to reach out to anyone who wants to find more information for more digging. Um, I have long uh, stopped doing my own videos, especially now with my severe technological limitations. But um, I do find it easier uh, and probably better for for general information gathering uh, just to point you in the leads that I go to myself so number one thing that I want to talk about is a Twitter um, a person a Twitter like page um, this woman is called Christina Wisson it's C K R Y S T Y N A Wisson is W I S S O N, um, and her Twitter handle is called is basically pissed off, but the I and the two S's are both angry faces. Um, and uh, she's amazing. Um, tons and tons of really, really incredible information on here. So I discovered her through uh, the Conan Lyman Twitter feed. I don't even remember how I came across him now. I've been going to his uh, feed for like months at this point. And um, partially because he, he talks about holographic earth and the construct and going home and a lot of stuff that I really align with. Christina Wesson is someone that I believe he follows and... Uh, I've been incredibly impressed with a lot of the information that's coming up on her um, her feed and especially today today's been like just through the roof I can't even believe it so apparently um, there have been two uh, court injunctions filed in the UK against the UK government um, for crimes against humanity and mass genocide to do with uh, the coronavirus and the vacuum the vacuous vacuum is what I'm going to go with today. Um, so check that out. Lots of information. There was an accidental reporting on the television of the Queen's death and then they tried to cover it up by saying that they, they said it wrong so it sounded wrong. Um, there's all sorts of information uh, about um, what's going on with this pipeline. The, the quote unquote hacked uh, pipeline. So some some very interesting stuff. There were apparently um, there were headlines that came out that were part of the CNN uh, rotation the last couple of weeks that said basically there's going to be gas shortages this summer and stuff uh, and, and the like. You know, just all these incredible mind blowing predictions that they have, quote unquote predictions. Um, and uh, someone else has posted, well, actually, there were a lot of riots planned, and we can't transport these people across the country to riot if there's no gas available. So that's a theory. Uh, sounds about right to me, um, because as far as I can tell, the people who do the most damage across the U.S. Uh, are being trucked there back and forth, because uh, when you look at the actual numbers as, as everything is emerging, um, truthfully about how people feel politically um, you know according to the you know the recounts and stuff um, it looks like the US is pretty much red I mean it's it really doesn't look um, anyway yeah so just very interesting stuff uh, going on lots of different angles going on there um, my heart goes out to everyone who's living in uh, Israel right now um, I'm I don't have uh, I don't have a particular leaning about what goes on down there. I just think it's c crazy uh, damage um, for all the people caught in the middle. And uh, if if what is 
being reported as true than, or, you know, and not mass, mass media, obviously, reporting, but I just, um, you know, I pray every night, um, for the safety of the children in this world. So, uh, you know, a nod to everyone who's dealing with massive bombings and stuff. It's terrible. Um, there is also, though, on that note, um, some proof of, uh, CGI manipulation when it comes to these things that occur, uh, that are put on the news, massive fires and destruction in cities and stuff, so, um, it's just another situation of look here, not there, um, so there's been, um, and all of this stuff that I'm talking about right now, this is all, all available on Christina Wilson, Wilson sorry, uh, Twitter feed, there's lots of different stuff on here including an article um, about Eric Clapton who um, has apparently had a very adverse reaction to the uh, to the vacuous vacuum um, and is suffering uh, physically enormously apparently and is speaking out against it so you can check for that posting on her uh, Twitter feed um, but to go back to the CGI, uh, that's, sorry, I, I went off topic because it just popped into my head and I didn't want to forget to say that one. Because that is one of the most famous dissenting voices at this point. I can't think of another person who's come out against this particular, uh, medical situation. Uh, there's also in Ohio, they have, um, automatically, um, put any adult, anyone over 18 who's received this, their name goes automatically into a draw and the fur and they'll draw five names and each of the five people who are drawn in this automatic draw will win a million dollars which is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard it is so terrifyingly like pushy but on top of it a million dollars of what the economy is crashing it's nuts. It's nuts. You know, they're giving everything away for free when nothing actually has any value. It's incredible. Um, but yeah, so just, um, you know, take everything that you see with a grain of salt. Uh, the, you know, there's much evidence to say that we're in the end game, uh, not necessarily the end times, but the end game. And so they're going to be using all kinds of things to kind of grab at you, um, give you uh, hope where there shouldn't be any or, or dash your hope where there should be. Um, but lots of stuff is going on. I mean, there was a letter written just recently by 124 retired army generals saying that, you know, America's in peril due to socialism and Marxism. There's so much going on. There's so, 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 so much. Um, this woman, this Cr Christina Wisson, uh, honestly, it is an absolute mind blowing source of different information. So, uh, I will put her link at the bottom. Um, the other side of, of things, um, so there's a lot of political stuff also just, you know, I I scrolled down for quite a while today, but there's just so much to go through. I've never actually checked out her thread. Actually, that's not true. I did check it out, but um, the stuff coming on here in the last like couple hours is uh, it's it's coming in fast uh, on her channel, and and so I got lost in a lot of different rabbit holes. There's a lot of different um, tangents on here and paths to take. Um, so, uh, the other person that I really wanted to, uh, talk about as well is a channel on YouTube and the channel is Adam1414. Um, and so this particular person has done a lot of really incredible videos where they take the information from Yellow Rose for Texas and people who talk about similar, um, concepts uh, of, of holographic universe of, um, 
you know, the idea of oversouls, that we are avatars, that this is just um, like a massive sort of virtual reality game that we got sucked into, that got um, lost inside, essentially. And um, really what I think is some of the most incredible information. So I went to his uh, his page, his YouTube channel last night. Sorry, I'm getting all confused with my terminology here. Um, and I went to the playlists, uh, because what I found that he did, cause so, so Rose has done some incredible work, but, um, some of her best and most sort of, um, information dense work are the lies that NASA told and, um, the lie the Vatican told, and there's different parts to that. Now I've watched those videos a number of times because you kind of have to, you can't really get through it once because there's voice um, information in those videos, but there's also visual, like for reading as well as some sort of schematics and things for you to, to look at. And it's, um, it can be, you can't really do it in one go. So I've, I've looked at, like, I've, I've listened to it while I'm like doing other stuff so that I don't have to like read it. And then I've done things where, um, I, I've also gone, like had viewings where I pretty much just don't address any of the um the audio stuff i pretty much put it on mute and then i pause it every few seconds so i can read all the information on the screen um but anyway adam 1414 channel has recompiled the exact same information with giving her full credits um at the beginning and 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 in the description box below about what what video it is and so you know um, fully in compliance and working with her as a content, um, creator. And, uh, anyway, he has his own, uh, Yellow Rose for Texas chant, like playlist on his channel. And, um, I found some really great stuff where other people have recompiled the same information with slightly different visuals. And there was a really great, um, uh, video or a visual sorry of um like a it's like a schematic of the tree of life and the nine worlds in accordance to Yggdrasil which is the tree of like the other like the Nor Nordic name for the tree of life and I just trying to just double check super quick what that is called that particular um it's called Asgard nine worlds tree so if you look up Asgard Nine Worlds Tree, I can try and give you, I'll try to remember to give you guys a link to that in the description box below. Um, but it's something I was actually considering going through uh, in my homeschooling stuff um, just as a, you know, because like all you get out here uh, or all the information is for, for educating um, the youth, the younger ones is like globe earth flat earth which i'm just like i'm not sure how i feel about that um holographic earth is like there's very little information um i've shown them pictures before of what the yellow submarine looks like um and if you don't know what i'm talking about uh just let me know in the comment section and i can send you guys a picture um, or i could just put it in the description box below save myself some headache um but it's this this Asgard Nine Worlds tree is really really well put together, so that's kind of it um, in terms of of actual information. As always, I still go to Starship Earth Big Picture. I still go to Not the Bee. I check out um, specific people on uh, Gab, and I believe I've mentioned them in the past. Um, so you can check the prior video description box for those people if you're interested. There's Bory and Colling, there's Adam uh, Foreman, otherwise known as Ad Enough. Um, so, but I do want to end this with a, um, you know, just a, a little, like, sort of pep talk. <clears throat> um, that, you know, it's it seems crazy right now um because uh you know this is the death rattle you know we've been long talking about this um that it's going to get you know very interesting as they as they kind of um exit their their 
they really have very little left. Um, and there's been a very interesting um, theory put forth that they're basically, it's like a robot that's been programmed to kill. Um, and, uh, well, do you guys remember that scene at the end of, um, you know, Terminator 2? Um, where the cop robot guy, he just, he won't die. Like, he just keeps kind of reforming and coming back. And, um, you know, they've been sort of programmed with this intent to do whatever harm it is that they've been programmed to do. And even as they are, you know, limbs are coming off and they're getting squished by this bit or that bit. And they're, I can't re really remember the scene that I'm talking about, I, but I do know they're in some kind of factory and there's like, uh, um, all kinds of machinery that he gets caught in and then eventually he like falls into, uh, uh, I can't even think of the word, um, but some kind of big melting pot kind of thing. And essentially like, you know, that's kind of what we're dealing with. We're dealing with, you know, um, we're fighting back and, uh, we've got a lot of tools to fight back with, but um, they're just going to keep going. Um, you know, it's, uh, you know, the, the night in, in the life of, uh, the meaning of life, you know, he's losing limbs and whatnot. And he's still like, come back here and fight. Um, and that's kind of where, where we're at. So, um, take heart things, uh, whatever they tell you is going on in the mainstream media. There will only be the tiniest nugget of truth in any of that. They always have to insert truth in everything they say at this point. Um, because that is the law. They have to be honest. Um, and, uh, to, to a degree, they usually stick their honesty in, uh, fictional, um, works. It's like movies and books and stuff. And anything they call history is, uh, usually the greatest fiction of all. So keep that all in mind, that the official story will only have the tiniest grain, um, and the rest of it will be uh, found elsewhere. So I just wanted to, um, I just suddenly, suddenly remembered, so I have this, um, po this uh, it's like a mail out that I got from the Shiva, it's uh, Dr. Shiva, um, and he just did a really interesting, I can't seem to get through it because I've got like whatever firewalls or whatever the heck they're called, um, on my computer. And as you guys well know, <laughs> computers confound me, uh, but he was talking about, uh, masks and, uh, masks apparently began in the medieval era. And, uh, so there might be some interesting information there about the beak doctors from the 17th century. So if you guys want to look into that, I'll leave you with that. In the meantime, um, uh, I will also put in the description box below uh, some vitamin information that I got from my good friend Nick, uh, who is a um, homeopath, uh, naturopathic doctor over in the UK, and uh, he's done an incredible job of looking after his body over the years, um, in the face of a variety of, uh, of serious diseases, um, as well as other people's bodies, uh, in a similar situation. Mm -hmm. And, um, he and I check in with each other with regularity and he tells me what's working for him and, and how he keeps himself healthy. And so, um, I will put, uh, his suggestions for vitamins and, and boosts that you can, natural boosts that you can give yourself. Um, and apparently there's a lot of information around this pine needle tea that is, uh, giving adverse reactions to, uh, the, the damage done by the vacuous vacuum. Um, so, uh, and what's very interesting is actually when Theresa May was still in power over in the UK, she actually put pine needle tea on a banned substances list. So that theory might have some legs after all. I mean, I'm not saying that it's going to cure you from, from the contents of that vacuum. Um, however, it clearly, uh, reduces the efficacy of, of th that technology quite greatly. 
So um, if you know people who have um, been forced into it or voluntarily took the first uh, dose and are now regretting it, um, you can have a look into that as well. Anyway, I've got lots now at this point. I've got a lot of stuff to stick into the description box, a lot of leads for you guys. Um, I love you very much. Take uh, care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Stay loving. Stay light. Keep it light. Um, don't, don't let things bog you down. And whatever you do, don't believe what, you know, the liars are telling you. Um, we're doing really well. We're getting through this. We're in this together. And this is where we all win together and we go home finally. So much love to everyone and uh, we'll talk again real soon. Okay. Bye for now.